Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. This is episode 5, and I gotta say, I like the growth of Santa Clara. I mean, just look at the sheer amount of passengers we have waiting here. I think that the line Santa Clara Little Rock could do with a slightly bigger train. 136 people waiting there, and, um, well, you know the pace of the game. They've been probably waiting there for about a month. I have the train number 10 coming in, which I believe is currently the biggest train on this line, so they should take quite a few of those passengers along. Provided that none of these people have decided to get in when they actually wanted to get to a separate station also on this line. It looks like we are doing quite alright. However, just look at how quickly this line ramps up again. There's still 78 people waiting there. And with Santa Clara's economy, or industry, keeping up pretty damn nice at good status with 66% supplied, I think that Santa Clara is due for a bit more passengers into a big, big industrial and commercial hub. That's going to be the next phase of the operation. Now for commercial, you can easily go for the tools or the food. Going for goods is something that is significantly more intricate, as you need a lot more materials in order to get that done. Now I'm looking at this one. We already have a construction plant, and we have a nice stone mine here, or a stone quarry, which is in a perfect position. As what I can do is set up a train, or set up a uh, potentially a truck line initially, between here and here. And then have the trucks take it from a logistics bay over there and just drop it off in Santa Clara and Mesquite. It is as easy as that. That's all I need to do to make sure that Santa Clara and Mesquite are also... Correction, this is uh, the industrial part. Um, food. Yes, food is something that's a little bit more difficult to come by on this side of the water. I have a perfect combination here. This is the farm and this is the food processing plant. There is, however, a slight issue of a small lake in between. So what I could do is have, for example, um, a truck line running from there to here, then set up a train line to take all the food from a collection point somewhere down the middle, and just ship that towards somewhere down the middle of the line, towards that station, where I hope to be able to ship it towards Mesquite and Santa Clara. Thereby, I'm really focusing just on these two towns. I know that the other towns can also use quite a bit of fuel, quite a bit of resources, and quite a bit of stuff in general to help them grow. But for now, I'm just more focused towards getting all of this stuff towards the cities. And focusing on one city in particular just makes that city grow extremely quickly. So, plenty of plans for the future. For now, let's get going. One thing I've learned is that if you're going to do this with trucks, which especially initially tends to work better because you don't really need a train line to start running from there to here just yet. Uh, although well, they do require 266 materials and I already have a truck station. That, well, hmm. If I take a train from there to here, it's a very, very short train. It's going to zip up and down constantly. Then if it's over here, I could take the materials, uh, take another very small train. No. No, we're going to do trucks for this one. This one is going to be the in-between point. It's going to be a bit of a triangle that these trucks are going to drive in. So we're going to have one... Um, yeah, it's going to be one big line. Okay. Let's see, we should already have the areas here that we need covered with depots. This one, Lower Santa Clara, covers mostly the middle of the map. This one covers quite a nice amount of industrial area. And this one does the other bit. I believe that the industrial area is growing, but not so much. I expected a bit more industrial buildings here, but the fact that they're not there is actually very, very fortunate, as it makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to have a few, uh, few, a few lines. One goes from Santa Clara to these stations. We're going to call this Santa Clara Construction. 
then we're going to need to ship it towards the other town as well. Let's see which one's covering that. I think it's going to be this one. Uh, correction, that is residential area. We need to be looking at this one. Mesquite branch. So that is mesquite construction. Now you may be thinking, hey, the initial start of the uh, train or of the truck lines is not inside the catchment area, and that's correct. Thinking is that my stone trucks are going to pick it up in central, take it there, then pick up whatever construction they have and drop that off right there in Santa Clara Central. And because it is going to be a massive effort, I made this depot as large as it can be. So this is the Mesquite stone line. It tends to become a bit congested over here. Just a bit. No, really, it can get a lot of traffic. Talking of traffic, if I am going to start sending vehicles down this way, then we might as well upgrade the whole thing and turn it into a highway. It's something that... really... It's something that I haven't done that much yet. Whoops, hold that. It's something that I haven't done that much yet because I barely made use of road vehicles. But right now, as we're starting to... What's the problem here? As we are starting to make use of it more and more, the road vehicle connection becomes significantly more important. So we're just going to tie it up like that. Yes, yeah, sure, we're going to delete one building. Really? Is that what's required? Ah, oh, just... <laughs> Are you really going to be like that? We're going to have to delete that one house. Just... well, whatever. Screw you. If you're going to keep getting in my way, then you're just going to have to move. Now we have too much slope, unfortunately. How about switching it to a different type of route? There we go, there's another house done. Whatever. It's not very nice to the people living there, but it has to be done for the sake of the growth of the town. Now, of course, we have similar issues here. And especially once you have train crossings, the thing becomes a significantly more intricate mess. And the game just refuses to upgrade it, usually, altogether. There, now my depot's in the way. I should have done this in a reverse order. Only a little bit. I'll make sure I put that more or less back where it was. So that the game doesn't get confused. Otherwise I'm going to have to redo my lines and I don't really want to do that. There you go. Next up, truck stop or truck depot. There's going to be a lot of these trucks. Unfortunately, I have the Peterbilt 359er, which can transport 19 per uh, truck. I'm going to send 5 to the stone line. That's just the initial group. It's not going to be enough. In one of my other save games, I have one of these situations going on with these road lines, which are surely there to produce or to pick up stone. And... They tend to get a bit crowded. Like, I have 20 to 25 vehicles on that one line. That's how bad it can be. Now, let's see if this quarry is actually waking up. There you go. It is now finally understanding that it starts, or it needs to get its production to gear. Get the first bit of stone there. The rest... Well, these trucks can still make decent speeds there. Crossing might... No, it's working. The game is not fighting me on this one. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Alright, then I believe that you are my first stone truck, which is going to arrive. And there we go. He vacuumed up what's left. Seven units. This is going to take a while to spin up. These things always do. They just take a while to start to get that production to the levels where they really need to go. In the meanwhile, I can keep optimizing the lines that I actually have running. Let's have a look at how these lines are doing. 
what I need to upgrade, what I need to kick off. Mesquite fuel, for one, is not doing very well financially. It is picking up a decent amount of fuel, so that shouldn't be an issue. And over the time, it's actually losing money. It's not getting better either. 130, 128, 1.9, now we're getting somewhere. That may have something to do with the fact that this thing had a bit of a hiccup. 116 out of 126. And there's another 42 waiting. You got pl No, you don't have enough crude. There's your problem, right there. That is the problem. They just don't have enough raw materials. I think we may need to get a few more of these trucks in. And talking of these trucks, I can speed up their progress a little bit. If I can upgrade their road. Which, of course, the game is pretty reluctant to have me do. Potentially because there's a depot in the way. Fine, we'll connect it here. Yes? No? Yes. If we're going to connect it there, then we might as well chop off most of the routes. There you go. That should save them quite a bit of time, as the old route only used to support 80. This one can support 100, and is far more straight than the uh, previous one. There's 22 waiting. Are you doing a decent amount of production? 324? Yes? No? 19? 13? 19? 13? Yeah, you're one of the older trucks. I want to upgrade that line. Elgin Crude. I think Elgin Crude's old vehicles on it. So we're going to set a vehicle replacement. We're going to switch to the Peterbilts and upgrade once we have 25% of lifetime gains or of lifetime age. Let's see, this one should get upgraded pretty quickly. There you go. Boom. New vehicle. Excellent. And to make this thing a bit faster, I can also set the load time or the wait time to 1. Making it so that these vehicles will instantly get loaded and not have to wait and just um, sit there doing nothing for a while. That's a big, big waste of time. Oh, really? Okay, wait one. I'm gonna relay that road as best as possible. Can I safely do this bit, or... Yes, there we go. Good man. This thing has bus lines and all, doesn't it? Keep bus line. Yeah. Oh, well. Not that I really need it. Is this one doing any better? 13. Look at how fast it's burning through the amount of crude that it has. It must have huge production spikes. The one moment having plenty, and then the next moment going, damn, I'm out. Okay, we're going to send a few more Peterbilts on the way. That is the Elgin Crude line. Let's see how Elgin is doing itself. Elgin is not getting any fuel itself, which is no surprise, as I'm focusing on Santa Clara. Santa Clara is down to 57%, but look at how far this one has been growing. It used to be a thousand when I started this episode, it's now 1290. So it's going up like crazy. How are these trains doing? 63, so you're only halfway there. I'd expected a bit more from you. As for Mesquite, 38% of fuel, which is okay. And you have been making money. The amount of income that this vehicle is getting is Definitely improving over the last several years. Lots of passengers from Mesquite Mobile here. It's this line. It is a double track, so I could set... No, it's a single track, actually. How are you doing? Mesquite Mobile. Well, there's not too many people waiting there. I'm not going to upgrade that bit yet. 
Let's have a look here. This all seems to be working as intended. This is the Mesquite Stone. I'm going to set this thing also to not wait at all. Just one minute. Because this can get pretty crammed with trucks. Which is not what I need. I need them to deliver their materials very, very quickly and not get in the way of anything. And come to, s to think of it, we need to upgrade this. Which, of course, the game won't let me do. Fine. Which case, we're just going to... Sorry, truck, you're going to get beamed up. And transported to a different time. There we go. We'll just have to relay the whole damn thing. You know what, since I have a decent amount of money on me, there is another option that I have. Which is not to build it there in the first place. Cute! No. Misclick. Can we build a tunnel? Yes, that is pretty expensive. But it means that my trucks no longer have to wait for the trains, which are constantly going to be rumbling past. So, with this, maybe that saves me a bit more time. How are you doing on resources? Not enough. You need more stuff. Oh, we've got a Boeing 757. And... <laughs> Aw, poor trucks. I was hoping you guys could beam your way over, but apparently... That was in vain. Too much slope? Are you sure? How about we just tie you up to this road? No? Fine. Happy? Yes? No? <laughs> he barely got hit by the train. Close enough there. Alright, anyway. This thing needs to kick up its production level. It has just been upgraded to 200. But these trucks are still too efficient. Or, I am not demanding enough stuff from this thing. I think that I am. I think that I am demanding enough of it. It just cannot keep up with production. Meaning that these things don't have enough resources. Thereby, I don't get enough construction material. And thereby, this thing is getting emptied faster than it's getting filled up which does mean that I'm getting some amount of construction material here but not nearly enough oh well the joys of wait why do I have fuel here tell me exactly what your plan is you're still taking construction material you're dumping some of it there the rest of it you're gonna bring here 47% supply rating, that's good. How are you doing money-wise? Making a small profit. Okay. For some reason, they're dropping off fuel here, or someone is. Oh, the oil refinery is giving me issues again. 126. This one is completely topped up. And you just missed them. Oh well. I suppose you could say there's a bit of fuel waiting here. That SC Fuel C line has way too much waiting. So, do I have a truck depot anywhere? I suppose, yes. Oh, hello. You're old. You're very, very old. Switch to a Peterbilt. It was truck line C, I believe. Yes. So that's SC Fuel C. Enjoy. Road Vehicle 8 has reached its lifetime and needs to be replaced. It's not really making many money directly, but indirectly it is. Because indirectly this vehicle is responsible for filling the trains. But if it's getting old, then we're going to have to replace it. And we're going to have to replace it with one of these. Um, the Chevrolet C60. 
What is your problem now? Try to ship more stuff. Probably. Oh, and a lot of stuff there is indeed. This thing is filling up way faster than this train can probably ship it out. Are you fooled by any chance? Yes, you are. Okay, at this rate, I may have too much on. There's already 150 waiting. And now there's almost 200. 124 points for Fuel C. How much does Fuel C have, truck-wise? Just the three of you. One of which is a bit outdated. Yes. <laughs> um, Santa Clara has all the fuel that it needs. It's just not getting delivered to the right location. That is the problem here. So, SC Fuel C. You can see that some of these buildings are already getting upgraded. Land value 250 per square meter, which is quite nice indeed. At this point, how are you doing on production? Decent. This one now has a fair amount stored. SC Construction is about to get emptied out. I find that as the game progresses, you're constantly checking for more and more and more stuff. You're constantly checking, okay, how's this line doing? How's that line doing? How's this working? For example, let's not have a crossroads in the middle of nowhere. And it just becomes a little bit less construction and a little bit more checking on uh, the sheer uh, crazy amount of passengers that I have waiting here. I think we could argue that this thing needs a few more trains. Railroad. That is the Santa Clara Little Rock, making me 7.8 million, 8.5 million a year. Yes, we're going to send another large train on that route. Like something really sizable. A Metroliner for 81 passengers. And then we're going to add a few more cars to that. This is 21, this is 33 passengers. I'm going to send one with a capacity of 123 onto the Santa Clara Little Rock line. There. I hope that that can keep them busy for a bit. Holy shit, look at the amount of material that's waiting here. I see construction is making a decent amount of profit. But... It's only providing 67 out of the required 391. So, we need way more transport capability there. Which means I'm going to buy two more for SC Construction. The other one seems to be doing okay. Mesquite, I'm going to give you one more truck. That is going to be the Mesquite Construction line. And this one is already punching up to about 200, which means that reduction. I hope that I can get enough stone into this facility, which is still not the case. There is just still not enough stone being transported towards this facility. Okay, we're just gonna buy a few more stone trucks. Let's see how this line is doing. Road, visible only. Half a million from the Mesquite Stone Line, and that is with seven trucks currently. Mesquite Construction and SC Construction are doing alright, but can be doing better. As for Mesquite, how are you doing on... Holy moly. We may have somewhat excessive fuel waiting here. Just a touch. There's only two trucks which are taking this stuff and delivering it to where it needs to go. But it's being hauled into location way faster than that. Okay. Let's see, there's an industrial... How about... How about this? How about setting up an industrial train station here? Right where I need it. Instead of having to ship everything. 
This could save me a lot of time. Hopefully. Let's just experiment a bit. I have 82 million. I can burn some money if I have to. Uh, let's say that there's going to be a straight route like that. No, I don't want to keep a bus line. If I build a train here, what happens? Your catchment era, er, era? area is terrible. This would be better, but it would delete half of the <laughs> industrial buildings out there. I'm thinking that I might be able to ship the stuff directly to where it needs to go, instead of having a drop off there and then taking a truck to deliver it, oh, I don't know, 20, maybe, no, not 20, um, let's say two, maybe three clicks further down the line. If I set this to a second road connection, would that help? A bit. Catchment area is getting bigger. Okay, I'm going to try deleting one building. Three buildings will be deleted, of course. Two buildings will be deleted. Because there has to be a more efficient way of doing this. I don't believe that this is the best we can offer. Eh, come on. Work with me, game. See, that's better. But then there's still a bit of industrial area here that we're not covering. Alternatively, I could have two train stations. One here and one here, and then the game can figure out itself where it needs to go. Because I'd really prefer not to keep crowding these streets with additional trucks. I mean, for now it's the cheapest option. And for now it's by far my best option. But I think that if this continues to go up, then we're not really going to have this luxury anymore. Let's see how the vehicles are doing. How old they're getting. 27 years, the Rockford bus. Which means that in some years I'm going to have to replace some of these lines. Let's work ahead. Set up some of these replacements. Road vehicle. Uh, that's the Tacoma bus line. I'm going to set it to the Chevrolet C60. Beaumont bus. Yes, we're going to replace that one as well with the Chevrolet. Next up, SC Mesquite. You're a vehicle that's 27 years old already. How many people are waiting to go to Mesquite? 37. That may have something to do with the fact that you just arrived, didn't you? No, you're about to. You are about to arrive. 64 people on a train that carries, what, 50? Yeah. Okay, go home. We're going to deploy a metro liner there. That train needed to get upgraded anyway. So I might as well send a metro liner this way. Multiple units, metro liner. You are on the SC Mesquite line. Have a good one. Crap, can you get... You can't get there. You're the wrong depot! Ha! Huh. That was the train depot for the cargo line. I thought, wow, it's the same rail line. It shouldn't matter. Yes, it does. It does indeed. Sell off that one and get me a metro liner. Currently, I have a capacity of 81, but there's 106 people waiting. So we're simply going to upgrade this one. 102. Let's go the extra mile then. SC Mesquite. Please tell me you're first going... Yes, you're going the right way. Excellent. That saves me a lot of trouble. How's Mesquite doing on growth? Industrial area is classed as good. Road connect or... Interesting. What would you like to further improve that? Maybe the catchment areas need some working... No, they're looking okay.
Do I have a bus running between Santa Clara and Mesquite? No, I don't. Okay, we're gonna set one up. Because some people just prefer to use the bus, which is fine. That is their prerogative. I always prefer trains. We're gonna take this guy all around the city. In what might be the most inefficient matter I have set up yet. Let's see. Um, I want you to have a bus stop there and there. At station, we're gonna go to that one. And we're going to take the bus all the way north. I have to construct a few additional bus stops since this town has been growing quite a bit. So we're going to go here. And then there. We're going to turn this one black so I can finally see what's going on. There you go. Then you're going to head there. And for the rest of it... Let's make sure that this area is also captured. It's not the best turn, but you're going to have to go there. Then here... Just for industrial convenience, we're also going to build a bus stop on this end. Then you're going to take that one, and that one, and just one on the end of town. Yeah, there. Maybe a bit too close, but I'd prefer to have too many catchment areas than too few. Then, back to Green Street. And I want to send you one more time through this town center here. Add station. And back home you go. This is going to be a pretty important bus line. So this is going to be SE Mesquite bus. Now, this one is going to more or less be competing with the other line that I already have. The train line. But some people just prefer to use the bus. Which is absolutely fine. But I think that the train is going to be quite a bit faster. I'm going to make an investment of about $800,000. And this is going to be the SC Mesquite bus. Where are you at? There you go. Still a lot of people waiting here. A hundred? Wow. I think that plenty of people have been doing their shopping in Mesquite and want to go back home to Mobile. Which is still a cute little town <laughs> where nothing much is happening. The shopping area is shrinking and the jobs area is too. So that is not a good development for that town. How are we doing on Santa Clara Fuel? 63%. The amount of construction materials is good. That is a good development. SC construction still not entirely on the ball here. You are still not producing enough stone. Alright, get me more stone trucks. Then get me more trucks for SC construction. Because I think that the other way is doing quite alright. Mesquite construction, yeah, there you go. What? Why is there fuel being delivered to that location? That... I think the game is getting a bit confused. Now, this is something that I find a bit tricky with the game. See, if I have the SC construction line here, I can only tell it to load, if available. But I cannot tell the game to only offload, if available. Or to just offload and not have any regard for what's going on at the pickup point. So, I don't want it to pick up any fuel here, if it goes empty. I just want it to drop it off, and that's all that it needs to do. But the game is a bit stubborn in that regard. 155 people waiting. Which one are you? You, I believe, are my super metro liner. You've made me 5 million last year? Wow. Yes, that is very, very nice indeed. How many people are waiting? I see Santa Clara. Uh, can we stop moving this around, please? No? Great. 
there's another hundred people waiting. Fortunately for you, we have another metro liner on the loose. Which should pick them up pretty soon. And you again come in with another two million. Perfect. I believe I paid off the debt. Yes, we have no further loan. Income last year, 18 million. This year, already 18. And it is going towards October at the moment. Have you learned your lesson? Quite. It's going up pretty nicely. Look at that. It started out at somewhere along the lines of 50. And now, 1988. We have just reached 300. <coughs> Sorry, 300, and it just keeps going up. Alright, I think this is a good time to cut the episode here. The Empire is still growing. I just added the construction line. And with that, Santa Clara is growing even further. Now, the next opportunity... Look at that, excellent. That's what I like to see. Um, the next opportunity is probably going to be adding Austin and New York City. As well as probably... Uh, and um, I sort of forgot about New York City. I already have a train station here and a train line. I just completely forgot to add a train to it. So whereas the Santa Clara Little Rock line is going to head east, we're going to have Santa Clara, Elgin, New York City, Jackson heading west, southwest. But that is going to be happening in a few days time for the next episode. So thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for more Transport Fever.